So today's update was, as of at least 24 hours ago, kind of unexpected. We, of course, found out about this last night, but we didn't quite get to talk about it here on the channel because we had another video going up. But today's update from Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 brought along some changes that, honestly, again, wasn't quite expecting for like another two weeks or so. But instead, we did get them today, plunder, as well as some other things included. So what changed, what's new, and what do you need to know about? As we go along, drop your thoughts down below on what you enjoy out of this update, or perhaps what you find a little disappointing if you feel it fell short. If you enjoy the video, you'll find it at all insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ content, as well as other FPS stuff here in the future. I'd love to have you in the community. And finally, check out my friends over at G Fuel. Code Espresso gets you 20% off all items, but some things for the month of April, 30% off. Link in the description below. More on that a little later. But for now, let's talk about this update and what all it changed. So firstly, the return of plunder came with this update. For those familiar, it's the same old general plunder formula from Modern Warfare 2019, though a little little slightly different. It has some adjustments here for Warzone 2, which actually some of it I think is pretty good, but you're still tasked with looting, killing for, and extracting cash as you normally would, but this time it actually takes some elements of DMZ, which is pretty cool. I didn't even think of that when considering plunder in this iteration, but I do like that for the gameplay loop, this means you can end up finding things around the world like laptops, hard drives, GPUs, all with individual item value like you would in DMZ, but they're a bit more common. So after searching for days for the last time I grinded DMZ for a GPU, I won't lie, it kind of hurt whenever on like my 10th chest I opened it up and I ended up getting a GPU. Might have actually even found it on the ground. Not sure entirely what the case was, but it was a definite, oh, come on, man, feeling when I saw that that early on. But anyways, you can loot those items and then sell them to increase that cash shield for what you're working towards of your overall cash goal to win the match. Another difference from Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone 1's experience is the backpack system. All players are defaulted to a large backpack so you can carry an absurd amount of armor plates, extra ammo, streaks, items to sell, whatever you want, but you can end up increasing your cash shields or simply increasing your play effectiveness. There's more strongholds as well as black sites to take control of with higher loot and payouts as well. So again, some deviations from the core plunder experience you may remember from Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone 1. Additionally, what's different in-game includes a few new in-game events. Blood Money returns here where it's double cash for eliminating or looting operators during that event. Cannon fodder is still something that I don't think that I've seen anybody report on just yet, but we had that detail to us in the launch blog for plunder back with the season three launch heat ends up increasing black site and stronghold payouts by five times their usual rewards contractor is an event where all contracts earn double the cash reward for a short period of time money siphon is an event where atms around the map will pour out an endless amount of cash for a limited time and chokehold is an event where if the match is going a bit long that will trigger a gas circle like you'd see in battle royale for some of those long-standing matches we also see in the buy station there are new additions of credit card life insurance and angel investor where a credit card gets you 10% cash back on any and all purchases from there on out. Life insurance is with a small fee, you save 50% of your cash on hand when eliminated. And Angel Investor is again with a small fee, you can pick up a top secret contract that once completed pays out multiple times whatever the normal dividend would be if you completed that task without that Angel Investor upgrade. Now, one thing people were looking forward to was the mention of event rewards here in that launch blog for Plunder. Right now, it doesn't seem like there's anything specific to Plunder in terms of rewards like the initial launch blog would have you to believe. But instead, we did see an update to the Trophy Hunt event, which before I get too far into that and fully segue out of Plunder, one thing to note is that with Trophy Hunt, DMZ was incredibly easy to farm tokens, right? I mean, you could infill, get 12 no problem off of AI, and then just bank them and you could end up exfilling and you get like 12 in five minutes or so if you're lucky. But Plunder, you can get that same 12 by comparison by killing AI, they'll drop tokens, but also they're relatively common in chest spawns as well. And of course you can get them from players. Then you can bank those. There are more bank stations than there are in DMZ. From a preliminary run through, not sure if this will get patched or not as well, but the key part is you can also just immediately leave the match right after you bank them as well. So that's something that in theory, you could end up doing this in even less time than DMZ on Ashika Island and or Almazra. So it really comes down to preference. Though one thing to note is that right now, if you care about your stats, of course, normally plunder, you wouldn't care about win losses probably or KD and that, but it's also right now tied to your Warzone Battle Royale combat record. So you can inflate that KD by farming in plunder, absolutely. But on the flip side, if you do this method, you're going to absolutely tank your win loss. 
So just bear that in mind. But leading over into the refresh for the trophy hunt event, we end up seeing the introduction of a couple of different new items on offer here. That third row of rewards was unlocked here as of this week, in which we have a double XP token for 15 tokens, the Woody vehicle skin for 30 tokens, the Viper pistol emblem for 30 tokens, the Betrayed loading screen for 30, one battle pass tier skip for 30 tokens, and then the Night Sting battle rifle for the TAC V. That is something that is going to cost 120 tokens. So exponentially more in regards to that. But if you're trying to look at like comparable pricing in terms of week one to week two and those refreshes here, they're actually not too far off. I mean, obviously the Trophy Hunt Master calling card is 1,000 tokens. That's the extreme outlier. But if you take the other rewards that were introduced initially, that's something that they totaled up to 300 tokens. Now, these six that were introduced as of today, those total up to 255 tokens. So not too far off the mark in regards to scaling it's just how that will all work out in regards to probably comparable timing to get one versus two done that refresh in that regard now of course you only need 10 to 15 for the mastery one and two skins available for rose as well as koenig and then of course after that we have this for another 13 days so you still of course have plenty of time to grind this out if you're at all interested in getting those rewards and you can pick and choose with them you don't necessarily need the battle pass tier skip or the double xp tokens you can end up going instead for like the blueprints the vehicle skins and other stuff like that it's really all up to you it offers up some variability based on your own interest to end up completing the event after that that's when we'll see just like the path the ronin event it'll switch over to camo challenges as it did last month so mid-season coming in 13 days and some change in terms of hours now beyond that we also saw the additional playlist introduced at least on the warzone side of things here before we jump over into mp battle royale quads trios and solos no duos here resurgence solos duos trios and quads no massive resurgence and then of course plunder as well in terms of quads no solos duos or trios for that in terms of modern warfare 2 in the playlist we have on offer here for this we have party modes cranked playos lighthouse 24 7 shipment 24 7 gunfight 10 v 10 mosh pit close quarters and third person mosh pit back for this week that is your playlist on offer and what you can expect to jumping into those regular experiences but beyond that as of yesterday we saw a couple of things change in regards to an air quote update they put out for warzone and modern warfare 2 and it was a whole bunch of nothing really it was all like small ui fixes bug fixes here and there that seemed to be very rare but the only item i think worthy of noting was they moved the kill streak banner to reduce reticle overlap on screen something that has been said i think for the season three launch and maybe even like season two reloaded maybe even season two i feel like we've heard that discussion for quite some time so that was finally adjusted here but the biggest stuff in terms of the update today also might be what did not come today as of the announcement of the update here today but happening yesterday from call of duty socials there was a massive buzz of confusion on okay what does that mean then we'll have new weapons operators and more importantly ranked play for warzone obviously that did not happen none of those things ended up coming as of today that is reserved for the mid-season update and truth be told while it is kind of strange to consider that we have a mid-season update happening, but something dropping in between the regular season update and the mid-season update of such a scale as Plunder, something that was the main marketed game mode here for Warzone beyond Warzone ranked. It also kind of makes sense because if you were to try and drop both of those things at the mid-season update, you'd end up splitting that player base even further. You already have your solos, duos, trios, and quads across a various number of different modes, but then to add in Plunder, something that I'm sure a lot of people are happy with, some people won't care at all about, but you still get that divide and then you add in ranked on top of that at the same time you're cutting into that player base and splitting them up big time but that said that is our update as of today the last one of the month so let me know your thoughts down below are you guys looking forward to anything in particular upcoming do you like anything out of this update in particular what are the case drop your thoughts down below before we wrap everything up make sure you check my friends over at g fuel code espresso gets you 20 percent off all items all the time but as of the month of april things like starfruit and hype sauce those two tubs as well as a few other items are discounted to 30 percent off with code espresso i said it before i'll say it again i love those two flavors in particular so awesome to see them both on sale at the same time i have hype sauce in my shaker cup right now actually as of recording this video so if you guys want to check those out or any other flavors link in the description below and make sure to use code espresso but that said if you enjoyed the video you find it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing to stay with all things modern warfare 2 warzone 2 and anything cod related but for now thanks so much for watching modern espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace